What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 20th Java Advanced tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about a really cool concept and this concept is called encryption. Now for those of you that don't know what encryption is, I brought up a little image on Google here. Basically encryption is a way of hiding the identity of a sequence of characters or a string. So if we had a password that we wanted to encrypt we could change the letters in the password to some arbitrary weird uh, symbols and characters so that if someone looks at our password they just see a bunch of gibberish that they don't understand. So in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how to do that. Um, it's going to be a basic encryption algorithm. This isn't like an algorithm that people would use that's pretty easy to break so this is just for fun just showing you the basics of encryption. So in the last tutorial, I taught you guys about how to create a string buffer. Now we're going to be using string buffers in this tutorial. So if you guys haven't watched that, go back one tutorial. Um, actually, I'll post a link, an annotation right here up in the right corner. And you guys can click on it right now. And then I'll see you guys, I guess, after that. So in the meantime, let's create our string buffer. So string buffer, buffer. And then we could, let's actually set it equal to password. String buffer password. It's a little more meaningful. And then set it equal to new string buffer. So within our parameters, like always, we're going to use, we're going to put the string in that we want our password to be set to. So the password I'm going to use is bubbles. And I could just save this here. And now we basically created a string buffer. And we named the object password. And we set the password equal to bubbles. Now, in the last tutorial, I taught you guys how to change specific characters within a string buffer. Now we're going to be doing exactly that, and yeah, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. We're just going to be changing it to weird symbols so they don't actually know what our password is. So let's create a for loop so we could iterate through our whole string. So to do this, we create a for loop for int i then we could set that equal to zero and then we're just going to say go through this loop as long as i is less than the length of password so password dot length and then we're going to go i plus plus because we want to go through each element now that we have our for loop we're inside this for loop we're going to be swapping the letters within bubbles with a different character. Now we need an algorithm for this so we can decrypt the password in our next tutorial. So to do this, I'm gonna teach you guys one little fundamental before we carry on. So just comment your for loop out for now. And then right here, I'm just gonna show you guys how to access each individual character as an integer value. Now you guys are probably like, what the heck do you mean? I'm gonna show you guys right now. So use an s out statement and then we're just going to go password and then we're going to get the character at our first element so to do this we just use the method char at now char at zero would be capital b so let's just run this just to show you that i'm not lying and we get a capital b now we could access the actual numerical value of the capital letter b to do this we just need to use casting so to cast, we use our circle brackets in front of our thing that we want to cast to, and we want to change it to an integer value, so we're going to cast it to an int. If we run this now, we see that we get the number 66. Now, each character on your keyboard has a numerical value associated with it within the operating system. So we're going to be taking this number, and we're going to be changing it by using some math operations in this case, we're going to be multiplying and then we're going to, yeah, we're just going to be multiplying by nine to encrypt it. And then after, when we want to decrypt it, all we have to do is divide the characters or the integer values by nine and we'll get our character array back. So now that you guys understand a little bit of background about characters, let's jump right back into this. So now that we have our for loop, let's make a temporary variable that stores the numerical value of the character that we are at in our current iteration of our for loop. So to do this, we're going to go int temp, and we're just going to set it equal to zero because we have to initialize variables in Java, just so we don't get any weird errors or something. 
And then after that, we're going to be setting temp equal to the character within our iteration of our loop. So we're going to go temp is equal to password dot char at the current iteration. So to make sure that the value that we're accessing is going to be an integer, we should just cast this to an int just to make sure. Um, it should already uh, convert it into an integer value just because characters and ints are very close together. Um, but just to make sure, we're going to cast it to an int. So basically, temp now has the value of whatever iteration of the loop. So if we were in the zeroth iteration, it will have the numerical value of a capital B. If we're in the first iter in the first when i equals one, we're going to have the numerical value of u. So now that we have that, we could do a little math operation on it to change the actual numerical value. And when we change the numerical value, that's going to change the actual character representing um, that numerical value. So to do this, let's just go temp is equal to temp. And then we can multiply it by 9 or do whatever the heck you want. Go crazy. Um, so actually, just go with multiply by 9 for now, just in case it doesn't work out. Um, but after you guys can mess around with it, and make your own little encryption algorithm if you want. And so yeah, now that we have our temp value and we changed it, we could set the character at our current location to this integer value, which represents a different character. So we're going to go password dot set char at, and then we're going to set it at our current iteration of our loop, which is I. And then we're going to change the character to this temp variable that we multiplied by 9. So we're going to go temp. And then since we have an underline, we have to cast this integer to a char. So we're going to go char. And that basically takes that integer value and then converts it into the, re the char that represents that number. So after that, we can, um, we're basically done. We just encrypted our string by using a for loop. So let's just print out. Um, encrypted plus password and then let's just print out before it actually got encrypted so you guys know I'm not pulling your leg or something um, so we'll type out original and then go plus password and then if we run this, this is the moment of truth make sure I didn't embarrass myself and Boom, there we go. So we are, our original string is bubbles, and our encrypted string is this gibberish that doesn't make any sense. So <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys think it's cool. I guess I might be just a nerd, and I think stuff like this is cool. But that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions about this, um, feel free to send me a message. Um, yell at me in the comments, whatever you want. But in the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to um, decrypt this password it's not very hard. It's probably going to be a little two minute tutorial. It's probably not even. It's actually really easy. So if you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.